So, um, just going back then to this really crucial area that Evan mentioned earlier about vital uh, rights that, that legal aid protects. Um, obviously, that's the first finding in your report, that legal aid is vital to protecting the rights of uh, vulnerable people. Uh, but we do know that the government has argued that, that people are already too reliant on rushing to court, um, and people should take more responsibility about sorting their own problems out. Could you just give us your views on, on that? Yes. Um, we included in, in uh, Chapter 8, as best we could, because we, we didn't get much of a take from organisations we thought might be supportive of the Green Paper proposals, the sort of the case against legal aid, and we set out some of the arguments we'd heard, and we did make an attempt to, uh, to engage with organisations that we thought might have a view, like the Taxpayers Alliance, who are very happy to, spout, sorry, to speak up uh, <laughs> about things they object to, but when you want to ask them questions in a, in a yeah. more detailed way, they don't even reply to letters, so maybe they should look at the tax efficiency of their correspondence department. Uh, but one of the themes that came out was the assertion made by the Adam Smith Institute, and also has been made by government ministers, that if it wasn't for legal, that, that, that there's a lot of unnecessary legislation, uh, litigation rather, unnecessary litigation, and that this is because it's free, okay? So that people have nothing better to do than to endure long meetings uh, and, the, and the stress of uh, uh, dealing with lawyers and then with courts uh, for no good reason. And their solution to this, which, is, which isn't a very substantiated argument, there's very little in the way of evidence to put to that, is to say we're going to sweep away coverage from a whole series of areas. Now, if you feel that unmeritorious cases are being funded, you can tighten further the already tight eligibility criteria, which means that the Legal Services Commission consider what the chances are of uh, people being successful in their case. But to sweep away whole areas drives a coach and horses through the idea that this is a considered view about whether individual cases are necessary or not. And secondly, of course, you can set up other means outside of the court system, which still need funding, but would be cheaper, of, uh, of mediation and arbitration. But without that, it's illegitimate, in my view, to make some of the cuts that have been highlighted here. So um, people do have rights, and you can't, and it's just wrong as a matter of public policy to remove those rights by removing their access to the means of achieving those rights. That's a fundamental uh, principle in a, in, a, in a liberal democracy, and it's something that I hope, well, I think the government will get into real trouble in, particularly in the House of Lords, to understand uh, those sorts of issues.